Okay guys, so our kitchen is finally done. So I'm going to give you a tour of everything, show you details, and I have a full blog post up that I have linked everything that you can possibly be interested in. So I hope you guys all enjoy this part two of our kitchen reno, and let's get into it. So just to give you a frame of reference for where we are, our living area is over there. And then here's our sliding door to go outside and here's the kitchen. So I will start over in this corner and I'll work my way around. So the main thing we've done since my last video is the backsplash and the paint, also the hardware. So, but that's everything that makes it all look complete. My dolly is over there and not looking too hot. <laughs> So if you guys remember, we had a giant pantry right over there where the KitchenAid is. It was really big and we actually didn't use it. Um, it was pretty much like halfway empty, just a lot of useless space. So we ended up taking that out and just extending our countertops to make it, you know, a little bit more functional for us. I would rather have all the prep space because our kitchen is very small then have extra storage and we just make it work. So I'll show you kind of how we have this laid out right now. Not that everything's super organized, but up top I have all of my baking stuff. I have, you know, mixes, sauces, oils, and that sort of thing. And then on the right side is where we have all of our spices, all of our vitamins, protein powders, supplements and all of that. And then we have our microwave down here along with this drawer which we keep all of our snacks in here and all of our canned goods. So it's super deep. We have a ton of space in here. I mean this is not even full at all so it's really really useful. And we had them made with the, the soft close um, doors which is really great. And then we wanted our microwave to be there just to save space because before it was up here and I really wanted to have a range hood, just that look. I think it looks so nice. So we decided to put that down there. We also had a new oven installed. We got this one, I think from Sears, but you can get it at Home Depot. And we wanted one that didn't have the lip above on the, on the back because um, just the look of everything kind of flush and in line with each other just looks a lot cleaner. So this one just slides in and it saves a little bit of space and it just makes it look visually bigger. So we really like it, it's really, really nice. So these knobs are from Home Depot. We got the Martha Stewart ones and we have the knobs and also the poles, which are again from Martha Stewart and they're in the brushed nickel finish. So it looks like chrome and it matches our faucet, which is perfect. I love it so much. And Andrew installed them all. I was so impressed. I cannot believe he did all of them. I was just, I couldn't believe it. It was amazing. So over here is where I keep all of our um, like cooking utensils and that sort of thing. Down below we have all of our Tupperware and baking dishes. And then over here is where we have all of our utensils. And then below is where we have our pots and pans. And the nice thing we found from having brand new cabinets installed is we gained a lot of extra storage somehow. I think our old cabinets were just poorly installed. So we have so much extra space. Like this drawer, we barely have anything in it. So it's really nice. We have just a lot of like, even this one we have we have nothing in here, so pretty cool. As far as our backsplash goes, it's a glossy standard tile. It is not the beveled, it's just a standard one, and the grout is a light gray color. I picked from a couple different ones. Honestly, I'm glad I didn't go any lighter because I would, if I, anything, I would go darker. I just really like how this one turned out. I wanted a little bit of contrast because since there's so much white, we needed a little bit of contrast in here, so. That's why I kind of wanted the gray. And then we decided to do the tile all the way wrapping around the windows just to give it more of a, not, I don't want to say dramatic, but it makes it, it just gives it a different feel. And I love the look it gives. It kind of reminds me of, I don't know, more of like a European style kitchen, something that you see more in like restaurants and cafes. And I just really love how it turned out. So we had it stop right here and then just had the little lip down there. But I love how he trimmed out all of our windows with the tile. I think it looks, it just makes it look very nice and finished. And then up here is where we keep all of our 
plates and bowls. And down here we just have random stuff. So I have like serveware, measuring cups, saran wrap, tin foil, that sort of thing. We just have so much space, it's crazy. Um, down there I have like paper, plates, and a lot of tea. So moving on to our sink and faucet, which is the highlight of the kitchen to me because this is where I spend most of my time doing dishes, it feels like. So I got the taller apron front sink. I will link it down below for you guys. And it's the 32 inch one as far as the width goes. It's pretty big and I like it because I can fit a full pan in there without having to angle it. It just can lay flat, which is really nice. And then if you can tell, it's angled on the bottom so that everything runs into the sink and it's just very convenient. And our faucet is the, t there's two of them and I got the taller one. And I like this one because it pulls down. So you can just, you know, have that. And then this, I just think that's really pretty. And it goes to that or to this. And what this one does is it cleans everything down here. So it kind of is like a triangle, see? I love the way this all turned out, the combination of the faucet with the sink. It's just very simple and minimalist. I didn't want to have, I don't know, just I wanted to keep it very fresh. So I love how it looks. This is extremely durable. Oh my gosh, it was so, so heavy. It's crazy, but I couldn't be happier with it. And then we just keep a little dish here for soap and for our little sponge. And over here is where I keep all my fruit and veggies. And I got this little scale, this uh, boutique near us, this kind of home decor boutique. I thought it was pretty cute. And then over here is where we have our dishwasher. That little, uh, that vertical door is where we have our baking trays. And then this rug, if you guys are wondering, is from Home Goods. There are my slippers. <laughs> I got that kind of a while ago, so I don't know if they have it anymore. And our dish towels are from Anthropology. I'll show you guys in the light what the countertops look like. So we have two slabs and there's two seams, one here and then one on that side. It's in the new Carrera color. So it just has a lot of gray veining throughout. I like this one the most because it looked the most like marble. A lot of quartz looks really spotted and I don't know, they all kind of have a similar look. So this one was my favorite because it had more of that veining. And since we got slabs, we were able to customize the edging of the countertops. So I really liked how that turned out. And I gotta show you this because Andrew's so proud of it. He installed new outlets because we had brown ones before and he got one with two USB hooks and he's really proud of that. So that's pretty cool. And then the last area is over here by our fridge. So we also had our cabinets raised. I know I mentioned this in my last update, but we had them raised all the way up to the top. So they're a lot taller than before but we also had them raised so we have more space because we wanted our Vitamix to fit because we use that multiple times a day. So that was kind of our requirement for the height. But it works really nice for us. We ended up getting a decent amount of storage out of that. Over here we have our coffee station with our coffee, tea, sugar, little caddies, and then up top is where we keep our glassware. So we have our coffee cups and glasses. And then over here is where we keep our, um, our like wine glasses and that sort of thing. So that's all contained in there. Above the fridge, we have our big salad bowls and things that we don't really reach for too much. And down here is where we have to-go cups, like coffee cups, some mixing bowls, and then that's our junk drawer. And then if you guys are wondering, that little cutting board is from World Market and the one behind it is from Home Goods along with the butter dish that's from Home Goods too. So I think that's everything that I wanted to show you guys. Um, here's all of our ultrasound pictures over here. <laughs> so I hope you guys all love it. We're so happy with how it all turned out. I love how bright it looks and open and we're just very, very relieved that it's all over. So if you want more details, I will have my blog post linked down below for you guys. And yeah, that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you very soon. 3.45 and I'm having a snack. I'm having some of my favorite crackers I always talk about by Vans, the fire roasted veggie one's so good, gluten-free. This 
hummus is from Sprouts. It's the everything hummus. And then I'm having some carrots. 